Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very tasty plum and elderberry mineral water. Very hydrating indeed. So welcome back to the game where all the prisoners are sleeping if they are not actually tunnelling, which is a high probability actually. Either way, welcome back to the game. In the previous episode we did some improvements, specifically uh, the workshop down here among other things which ironically we're going to be ripping up and changing in but a moment. But there you are. Yes, either way, welcome back and in this episode we're going to pick up another grand cell block E and as best we can make some improvements and maybe even start to clone this cell block over to here. So a couple of things and mainly from lots of feedback in the comments. So thank you if you have left any feedback regarding the build. I'm going to put in some more shop fronts because one, two, three, four, five. There we go. It means uh, more people can be served and that's always a good thing. Secondly, over to objects and down to the bottom here and dismantle. And this might look like a fairly drastic thing I'm doing, but hopefully it will make sense and you may have already worked out what I'm doing here because, well, like I said, there's been a couple of comments regarding this and uh, yeah, in terms of the workshop, we do want to alter this. At the moment, I'm not worried about anything metal being smuggled out of there. We've got a metal detector and we also have on top of that lots of metal detectors here, so nothing metal is slipping through the net as far as I'm aware. However, what can slip through the net is the wooden pickaxe, and that's one of the main digging tools in the game. You've got stuff from the kitchen, which isn't an issue because that's all staff only. You've got the laundry, which is the ropes. Don't get me started. That's a digging tool. Uh, and we've removed access to that. But however, the other access for um, digging implements is from the workshop. And well, the way to fix it is naturally to put in some checkpoints, which requires a little bit of an extension. Remove these solar panel bits, add a bit onto this side. It'll be fine, it's just going to take a couple of minutes to do. However, you may be seeing that uh, we've ripped up a lot of this stuff here. And why have we done that? Well, that's because we're going to go to concrete wall and we're going to surround this with a concrete wall. Again, why are we doing this? Well, we don't have any official... I say official, um, let's go for maybe double doors in there, yeah, there we go. We don't have any official common rooms, and the issue with that is that one of the things we can run if we go down to our programs is alcoholics group therapy. However, that's run in a common room. However, if we were to seal this off and have this as an official common room, we can then run that, and we've not lost any space really and I don't think the yes I don't think the the rating goes down as well it's currently saying we don't have any official rating that's because <laughs> uh, max capacity because well yes we are indeed doing this one of the things as well that I've found is that as soon as something bad happens the entire thing gets searched we may need to alter the policy there you can see it says yeah if you found tools weapons luxuries it basically locked down and then the entire cell gets searched. I think what we'll do is we'll remove things like intoxication, uh, found drugs. Uh, oh, no, because, you know, if we do that, it's going to... Reform's going to be altered, so maybe we keep it as is and just uh, upstaff this thing and just accept that we're going to have to search more. Yeah, doesn't really matter too much. How are we getting on with the building? The building is underway, and I'm going to go to rooms and to common room. That's common room there. And remove this, and then place it back in. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we remove this, and then we place it back in. It's going to be a little bit cramped in here, but that's fine. And waiting for the workers to finish off the walls until we... Yeah, there we go. And you might think, hang on, here's, here's an issue. Um, it still says it is enclosed, and that really threw me for a while until I realised that for whatever reason the game hadn't removed a little bit there because of the double doors, and now it's classed as internal. Same thing here, remove that and remove that because that's still dormitory, and then we are back up to our max capacity. It might have altered the max, but I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned about that. Okay, so we have now got a common room, which means we can go down to... Oh, actually... While I'm in here, um, if we look at the parole cutoff, it's on 30%. There's been many suggestions to knock it down to, say, 15 or 20, etc. I'm not sure that's going to be a thing, because if we look at this uh, prison grading screen, it says paroled early 84, but only 4% of those have reoffended. The reoffending issues that we have when it comes to uh, the, the, the fines is them leaving 
and then coming back, not leaving through parole, it's just leaving because the sentence is finished, as far as I can tell. Obviously, that's not, not if that's not the case, by all means, let me know, but as far as I can tell, that's what it is, and but because of that, we're not going to alter it too much. So we do have a spare space here, which I'm going to probably put an office in. I would like to put another office in to potentially run some more programs. If we go to our well, carpentry apprenticeship and workshop safety induction, so we could probably run some more of that, because we do have a foreman over there and i mean what's the other course of action we could always put one in there but i'm not convinced also not convinced that those lights are doing much while they're inside the concrete and yes we, we might put that there or we might run a maybe a psychologist thing and then we'll be able to run some individual behavioral therapies anyway alcoholics group we're going to fire that up and that's going to run and we're going to put a couple of those in because we can so while we are looking over here then we want to i basically want to alter this workshop so we can still have stuff coming in this way not that i don't think any of the staff use this out, out a bit but yeah it is what it is and we need to we need to alter this so we can have a checkpoint in and a checkpoint out now i did just try with a checkpoint in and basically the they wouldn't follow the arrows correctly unless it's completely surrounded with a, with a wall so that's going to be another sort of issue that we have to uh, overcome. So I'm going to go to dismantle and dismantle a lot of this stuff here and we'll do that and also oh, we're actually going to keep the metal detector in I think. I wasn't convinced it was the way forward but I do think we need to keep that in. So I'm just going to remove some of this stuff here. Obviously that will give them access to places they shouldn't for now but it's a temporary measure and we're going to go for a checkpoint. So these uh, let's see if I can type it correctly. There we go. Checkpoint. So these allow prisoners to go in one way uh, or the other. And we're going to do it like that, maybe. And allows us to then run the concrete wall across, like so. It's going to come down and across there. We're going to have a metal detector. Yeah, another metal detector. So there's going to be an in and an out. And the out's going to go in there. Followed by the walls, which is going to have to go along to there. Which means this has to rotate and get placed. Uh, maybe there should be fine, I think. And then finally, yep, yeah, we got the wall along there too. So these have to be staffed, which is going to be a bit of an issue. But we'll see how we get on. I say a bit of an issue because it's going to mean four staff that's pretty much constantly sitting in these areas but well it is what it is and oh actually we have to put some more walls in and yes this is a bit of a hack i do understand that it's like far 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 from ideal but well it's what we're gonna have to do i may remove that section of wall but this should still be functional after this bit of a mess around here and obviously we want to put in the yeah, I want to put in all of the mosaic floor. We want to put in the floor in here and rotate it round. And that should be pretty much all is required. Um, we will. We actually we have to expand the. We have to expand the workshop too, which we'll do like so, and that should be fine now. You can see. I don't know if you saw there. We just caught it. They they went via this way, so the checkpoint direction just didn't do a thing. Um, it's you know they they have to um get both sides in and that should hopefully prevent any um unauthorized use of workshop tooling <laughs> yeah hopefully they're not gonna dig out with all of the stuff they've nicked so that's now set up correctly once that wall is in and there we go that should then tick over to enclosed it is not let me double check that so it's a workshop and all of that is set oh yeah it's that little bit there click and that's now correctly set good right so what i'll do is basically copy the same on the other side again it's more of a case of getting this thing done because well we're gonna have to do it eventually so we may as well sort of put up and shut up and oh is it from there i believe i think so and then down to there, which means that has to go to there. That looks correct. It looks correct. Um, dismantle all of these. And I'll naturally, I'll have to put them back in up top as well. I have uh, forgot about that. Um, that gets dismantled. That wall gets ripped out. Uh, demolish walls. There we go. And while we're working on that, I'm just going to come back up the top here and go for solar. 
practice solar panels there and oh we can't rotate them around that is a bit of a shame i mean i'm gonna put three in there then and that'll that'll be fine <laughs> and yeah it's 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 a bit of a mess but one two three there we go we've had uh we've had worse layouts wouldn't take much uh checkpoints <laughs> Uh, checkpoints is there, so that is coming in, and then it's going out, and what is going on there? Oh, that is actually legit, it's just, I may have forgot to demolish, hang on, no, that is totally wrong, what's going on there? And also, oh, tunnels, right, that's the priority, obviously, but let me double check the measurement before we move on, so it should be... From that edge, it should be 30, okay? So what have I done here? It's going to be 31, isn't it? 31, yes. Okay, that's that's mm, a thing. So we want to demolish those walls, demolish those walls, demolish those walls, and then put back in, uh, put back in a wall there after removing that checkpoint like that and concrete wall okay so let's deal with the main thing which is half of the facility wanting to get out so we are going to go a uh, guard response and i'm going to put them in well i'm going to put them here because they have to come through this way there's no other way of doing that and we're going to go to lock all doors so there is the door getting shut and they're actually just fighting with the guards inside here. But this is going to slow them down. I mean, it's not going to slow them down much, and I am a bit concerned about this one. Uh, free fire is going to go on. And there's the guard there. And how many... It says we found a tunnel, but I'm not sure which one. There is all of our guards here waiting to stop this. And there's the tasers going off. We've got the shotgun. Yeah, that's about 50 prisoners, I would guesstimate. And there you go. They are still trying to get out. All of this is... All of this is locked. Okay. Free fire off. Lockdown off. That could have gone a lot worse. A lot worse. And what is concerning is all sector tunnel search. That was an escape. We found a tunnel, but we didn't find a tunnel. Okay. Toilet. Dismantle. Toilet. Dismantle. We know there's tunnels. Apparently there isn't tunnels. I stand corrected. How curious. Hmm. Anyway, we'll plumb that back in. Oh, some fighting over here. Nathan McCullough, I believe there. They're going to be put back in, that's fine. So, the worker's going to go here. Oh, actually, that's a, that's a point. This isn't, this hasn't got any foundations. Let's put foundations in, shall we? The other one did, but this one didn't. So, concrete, up like so. Dismantle. Uh, no, demolish walls. Yes. And I'll wait for this to be built. And the walls. Come down here. Like that. Flooring will be mosaic. I'll wait for this to be built. Come on. There we go. And then it is workshop. Workshop like so. Yep. Then that's now enclosed. Yes, it is. But naturally, it is a metal detector. Which the other one... Oh, hang on. Which way is that one being set? That is correct. No, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to say, have I got it the wrong way around? No, we have not. And it... Checkpoint. Hmm. 
Yeah, that is going to be a bit wrong. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. They'll come through and then round. But then we'll have a door. The flooring is set. And I think that's about it. It's just the... No, I think that is it. Let me double check. Three of those there. There's the checkpoint. Three of those there. Checkpoint either side. Just remove that bit of planning there. No, I think that's correct. I think that's set. So I'll just run the utilities up to this thing then. And it's up to there. And similar thing here. Like that. And that means now, there we go. So we don't need a checkpoint in. I'll just cover that now. We don't necessarily need a checkpoint in. But it just feels right that these prisoners are getting searched as they're coming in. The problem, I because I have tried this previously. Look at that. There's loads of people coming in, but because they're only cleaning, they're not uh, getting searched. <laughs> I, I had one checkpoint before, and they would get... And that was, say, going out. But they could just walk back the other way. You know, if we didn't have this checkpoint, they could come through here, no problem, not checkpoint, work, 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 and then they're supposed to go this way, because there is the red arrows to indicate direction of travel for prisoners. But they only need to follow that if they're on that line already. If they're not, they're just going to go back through here. So, yeah, you basically need all the checkpoints in the world. So, <laughs> that's now in. Right. So we have more programs running. We have more reform. We have all of the grants that we really need. Uh, that is still classed as not enclosed. Why is it not enclosed? Why indeed? Um, okay. Not enclosed. Rooms. Dorm. And I'm gonna hold the mouse over that because then that darkens down to indicate where it all is. And as far as I can tell, that is enclosed, right? Yeah, goes to there, goes to there, goes across there and not there and not there. Just going to remove that common room. And then I'll go for a common room placement again. Surrounded by walls and doors. I mean, it is. What am I missing? That one, that one's legitimate. That one's not complaining. This one is. What? Remove tunnels? Ah, oh, there's one tunnel there. So we detected that tunnel. So we have a worker come over here shortly. Yeah, we, we did detect that tunnel, and it's, it is still there. It's just not showing because of all the stuff over it. So when a worker comes along, it will be enclosed again, right? When a worker comes along just to fix that. There it is. Okay. At least we figured this out. Good. Right. Staff only then. And let's just double check this. So staff only, staff only, staff only. That's visitor only. All of that's fine. Yep, that's about correct as far as I can tell, and we've still got all of the programs running, so that's great. All right, so this room here, I mentioned about doing some more, maybe, do we bother with it? What could we run? Let's see what we can run. Scrolling down, we've got behavioral therapy run by a psychologist in an office. We've got spiritual guidance, which is something I do want to do, and I was going to put some chapels in here, but then... I think we just need to expand. Unless I get the ball rolling, we're never going to expand with other stuff. Animal therapy would be good, actually. Animal therapy would be really good. And that would be in a meeting room. And it's more places. Yeah, that's better. That's better. So what we're going to do is have in a door here. And we're going to have that as a meeting room. And the meeting room requires chairs or chairs yellow. Well, guess what we've got an abundance of? Chairs. <laughs> we have loads and loads of chairs. 
And yeah, do we say have a couple? Or do we just have them face to face like that? It's a bit cramped, but hey, if it works, it works. While we're waiting then, quick build, custom, cloning. Select all of this. And that would be insufficient funds. What a surprise. <laughs> How are we getting on with this? That's getting built. Let's come down then. We can also do... Well, we're definitely doing animal therapy. And there's conflict resolution as well. Start animal therapy. We'll start conflict resolution. Resolution. Oh. Oh, all room staff only. Yes, of course. Shared. What time is it? Work slash free time. We're going to wait until it ticks over to something else. So we can reschedule. Or to be fair, we can unschedule them, can't we? Oh, hang on. Just double check there. Pharmacological treatment for drug addiction. There's not as many in the queue as we need there. Uh, that's all fine. Stop that one. We have... Alcoholics group running, which is good. Solar panel development, we can't really do any more there. And we're going to go with animal therapy and conflict resolution. There's also three, three strikes training and such. Um, that's interesting. There's several interested, but not really running on that one. I mean, I'm going to run as much as I can. I'll run... Some more conflict resolution and some more animal therapy. I think... Uh, no, it's not running. For some reason, it's not placing them on there. Right, it may just might just take a little cycle. Anyway, we just covered one of the teachers bringing in huge amounts of contraband. Okay, uh, shakedown. Oh, there we go. Speaking of contraband, I believe we just discovered some... <laughs> Dear Diary, the checkpoint works. <laughs> Good grief. And look, they're trying to bring it back that way. The checkpoint works. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yep. The checkpoint just works. When it's staffed. There you go. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, what am I going to do now then? I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get a £100,000 bank loan. And we're going to spend 28 of that in cloning there. That'll also require another 50 workers. No, not 50 workers. An extra 20 to bring our total up to 50. And we're building. Some may say about darn time. And I agree. Well, we're on with that one. Doors. Staff door. Double staff door. We'll go there. Up here we don't need to do anything. But we will need to put in this extra bit here. Which can be done quite easily. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's get this built first. So yes, let's double check that. It is... It is a working checkpoint. Brilliant. That's the main one there. It says so, but... It's the... Ooh. Prisoner reef entering it. Uh, screwdrivers. Yeah, it's the... It's not the saw the I'm worried about. It's the wooden pickaxe. Yep. Look at all the content around there as well. I don't necessarily need to do shakedowns, though, because... Uh, well, what I will do is a tunnel search. We don't really need to do that. Do a... Uh, and do a shakedown because... Uh, uh, yes, a shakedown. I was correct. Because when someone offends, does something that is untoward against policy, the entire dormitory gets searched. Yeah? That's our policy. Oh, look. We found you intoxicated. Or you've got luxuries. Or narcotics. Or escape attempt. It's all search, sell, the lot. The full thing. So we don't need to do a... A manual search. So that's all in that meeting room's in there. Shop fronts improved with those. We didn't alter the paroled early because 
Like I said, I don't think we. I don't think it's that that's the giving us the fines. Although that may change my tune on that one. Average reoffending rate is 46, so it's far from ideal. Work experience is one, but we do have all of the workshops now in. I'm gonna hire some more staff. It's gonna take our guards up. Let's hire some more dog handlers. And I'm just gonna double check our patrols. We got, uh, how many have we got? It's mainly this bit, the outside of the cells. We got two dogs outside the cells, one right here and one internal with two patrols. Oh, there we go, look at that. That's been, the foundations are in. The foundations are in. And now this is where we lose a lot of money. There you go, there's body armor bought. It's not that's going to be the problem, it's going to be the sheer amount of, uh... Let me just staff only that. And all of this. And now... Yeah, what's going to be the problem is the... Ooh, that could be a legitimate tunnel, that one. Mm, it's not triggered, though. Sorry, yes. Yeah, the, the sheer amount of money we have to spend here is going to be ridiculous, and it backs the it backs the line up. But there's more intake, which is good. So, naturally... Oh, there you go, look. <laughs> we just spend every generic units of currency we have. Every single bit of it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Bank loan. There we go. There's the bank loan. Our intake is set to min-sec. There is 100 available. Levels of contraband the prisoner out of control. I agree. What's also out of control is the emissions that we're probably breaking by the, <laughs> the fleet of trucks that's going past. <sighs> Interesting. All right. So naturally this here has to be... has to be set correctly. And... The way we do that is by... Well, that can be staff only now, at least. So that's definitely staff only, as is that and these bits. Apparently not those bits. However, we can go concrete wall along here. And... I mean, for now, we're just going to seal it off, actually. We don't need any more than that. And then we put these bits in here. What are those for? It's because if we go to doors, we're going to have small jail doors like that. It's not ideal, I'll be honest, but it's it's the middle, it's that little odd section that we had. So yeah, that there will allow prisoners to go around, and the reason we put the doors in, if they do try to escape, we can still lock those down. Most of them are set to staff only, uh, sorry, locked open anyway, so it's not a problem. So obviously a lot of things to build here, I mean you can see the sheer amount of stuff coming in and the workers working. And obviously I am concerned about the the staffing levels and the daily cash flow. But once this is in, that's over 600 prisoners that we can have, that we will be having. And oh, I look forward to setting the patrols on this one. <laughs> I'm going to wait until the other stuff is in before we do that. And we've got... You know, early release. Tunnel over there, but I don't think it's legitimate. You can see the shop fronts are working well. Wait, hang on! There we go. James Featherstone. Prisoner number 13403433. Sentenced for seven years for criminal damage. They have a girlfriend, two sons, and a father. Their work credentials are in customer service. The previous serve three years for shoplifting. We found a Featherstone. And <laughs> those that know what that uh, know what that means, well, knows what that means. Brilliant. Brilliant. Alright. Let's uh ooh, admire the sheer amount of stuff being brought in. A lot of this has already been connected. Do we just need to do the plumbing? That's a big clone. That is a big clone. I'm not looking forward to the end of today, though. We've only got 23 grand. What are we guesstimating for reoffending? Are we say 50 grand? Would you say 50 grand for for reoffending? Fine. That is possible. 
It is very possible. We're still getting released early reward. But let's see what the reoffending is going to be in but a moment. There's staff meals. Nearly three grand in staff meals as well. Have we got the capacity for CCTV? Let's have a look. Utilities and wiring. Uh, oh, very much so. No, it's actually queued. Okay, fine. And... Are these jail doors in? They are. So lock open. 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 There's a large jail door which will lock open. And indeed that one. And indeed that one. Those are to be installed. They put these doors in here before the rest of this and I'm, I'm not entirely sure why. And I probably won't find out. And fines? No. Oh! The fine has already went through. 20 grand. Curious. That's that's pocket change for us these days. Pocket change. Apparently there's a tunnel over there. Don't believe it. Um, that's all shared, which is it's actually fine. So yeah, just waiting for the doors to be put in. Large jail door, large jail door. Those have been put in there. And then that can be locked open. And that one is en route. It's on its way. There it is. No, it's not. It's been stopped. <laughs> Lock open. All right. Tunnel search. All sectors. Seven places. The way it works out is it figures out where the toilets are in a dormitory or a cell and searches those. It doesn't just search all toilets, as far as I'm aware. And this is going to be in. I believe so, yes. Those are set. Those are locked open. Those are locked open. And we're still searching. We keep searching the toilets. Again and again and again. And again, and again, and I think we've, I think <laughs> we've searched them so many times. There's just going to be, <laughs> there's not going to be any toilet left to search. It's completely worn, <laughs> worn down. Let me stop that. Oh, good grief! All right, we've just found something as well here. Someone, Mister uh, Daniel the Spaniel Newton, what were you trying to sneak through? I mean, let's be honest, I have no clue. <laughs> I don't think it's all of that. That's highly unlikely. And I said that greedy. <laughs> all right. So, we're going to leave it there for now. That has been a bit of Prison Architect. I'm very happy with this, improvement, uh, this, this episode. We've made lots of improvements. There you go. There's all the searches. People getting searched. There's Featherstone. Ed Featherstone. Hello, Ed. Any relation? <laughs> so, we've got the checkpoints in. We've got the shop fronts. We don't need any more than that. You see Fraser's walking away with a bottle of something. Oh, legit, of course. Because, you know, one, not enough. Five, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And uh, we've got... Ah! Animal therapy. Felix McEnvoy is uh, doing that. I mean, reoffending rate is still 45% because dormitories, but, you know, that's the challenge, isn't it? So we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. We've also got, obviously, this to sort out. So <laughs> it's hardly uh, is worth spelling out, but for the obvious, this is what we'll be doing next episode. We've got all of the additional patrols, the utilities, all the wiring and stuff like that, and obviously setting this to all of the correct, um, all of the correct staffing levels and things. Yeah, there's a lot to do here, but we're well on the way. So next episode we'll do that, and then we can even look down here. But the problem being that, um, well, yeah, we got a we got a big loan, so I'm going to start to pay that off as well. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and oh.
industrial accident. Generic partings. <laughs>